when intervention isn't enough. So they're not going to prison. And there seems no way out. Well, you want to be ashamed of yourself. You were the one that was using drugs. It's time. If I ask you a question, you'll tell me the truth. For one last shot. That's where we start. We started filming this for public access television in our area because people wanted to see it. People wanted to know. And it kept growing and growing and growing. And finally, someone found it on, saw it on YouTube. And we started getting calls from coast to coast about putting it on national program. And our team came together. And I retired from the bench and started this private drug court because, because it is an incredible opportunity as an outreach educational program to show people across this country what their drug courts or their therapeutic courts are doing and that there's hope and it saves lives. People don't have to die. As a country, we've come together and said, look, we have a drug problem and we have this alternative kind of therapeutic justice, if you will, that we're going to treat people as, as long as they're not a danger to themselves or others, instead of incarcerating them. And it works. It really does. This is really not a court show. It's a documentary series, and it's about the problem that we have in this country, and that is that so many people are addicted to drugs or alcohol, and they're committing crimes in our communities. And this show offers hope to those, those people and their families and the people that love them. I have thank you cards, I have pictures of their families. Some of them give me their sobriety chips. And it's not that I'm not gonna be sober anymore. They want me to, they get another one and they give me their sobriety chips. Children write letters to the treatment team. We've gone to schools um, for five years and the members of the team and participants go to the schools and we have thousands of letters thank you letters from the students that have watched the court and asked questions and, um, and have learned so much. It's, it's amazing, very rewarding. Hey, this is Judge Mary Ann Gunn, Tampa Bay. Please catch me at two o'clock on CW44.